All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom email domain for your email sending purposes in app.goagency and go high level. First, let's log into your go high level or app go agency. And let's make sure we get to your account. And then what you're going to want to do with this over here, you're going to want to go to settings and you're first going to want to set up the domain. Okay. So you're going to add a new domain. So we're going to make this uh, email dot parrot cove dot com. Okay. And you can see it's going to give us the IP address right here for the a record. We're going to go ahead and copy of that. And then we're going to go into HostGator. I also did a video on GoDaddy, um, so you can check that out. And we're going to add a new A record. Of course, the zone's going to be email. I don't think we need to do anything else there. Um, it should put the dot parrot code in there perfectly. So there is the A record. Go ahead and save that. Then we're going to add a C name record, and it's going to be for the www dot email. And I'm just all I need to do is just leave it right there. And then I'm going to put this C name record in there. Okay. C name for the WW and an A record um, uh, for that. Okay. So that's going to be a C name. I see what's wrong. C name. There we go. So email dot parrot code. Perfect. Some DNS. Some uh, registrars will really screw with you on this. Make sure it's not email, email, or parrot code. Parrot code's on there twice, and don't type that in. Depends on where you're at. Um, GoDaddy will actually warn you for it, which is, which is nice. So I'm going to save that record. Let's go back here and do step two. So I'm going to add this email. It should verify it. There you go. Your domain's added successfully. Uh, we're just going to stop right there and then we're going to add the www.email.parrotcove. <clears throat> we go for the C name. There we go. Yay. We don't have any funnels to link it to. Otherwise, you need to do that. We're doing this strictly for email deliverability, right? Okay, so the next step is where you're going to want to go down to email services over here, email services. And you're going to see now we're on the MGMS, which is lead connector, go high levels, root domain for sending email. Um, there's lots of videos why you want your own subdomain, not going to go into that right now. But let's just say, for instance, everybody else is sending from this and somebody marks some other company other than yours down for spam guess what you're a spammer now too and your email deliverability is going to go down so set up your dedicated sending domain to use on lead connector sending from a dedicated domain improves the likelihood of landing in the inbox very well said so what we're going to do is dedicated domain right here add a domain and we're going to add the email dot parrotcove.com and then we're going to hit add and verify now we're going to get a whole bunch of other settings to verify the domain so we got to add some text records here and a few mx records so first thing i'm going to do copy this text record get back to my dns and we're going to add a text record all right text boom Double check this. That was email .parrot Cove. There we go. Email .parrot Cove. Probably going to have to spell it out. Let's see what it does when I get out of there. Okay. Everything looks good. Pay attention. No priority. And we're going to hit save record. Things good there. Save record. Going to add another text record. Go in here, we're going to copy this mess. Oops. Well, let's just do this first. I'm going to copy the valid mail zone, then the 
value. See, so you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Save record. There we go. Successful. Next record we're going to create is another C name um, at email, email. That is actually correct. Don't question it as I did. And uh, let me actually be easier to copy that one. So we're going to do a C name, add a new record. Here we go with the C name. Email Paracode, be careful you don't have spaces, weird things like that. I think it was Mailgun, but I'm going to copy it just because I'm like that. And now we got, make sure there's not a space there. Okay, cool. Save record. Now we got our MX records. And we're going to put an MX record here. Um, Email.paracode, priority 10. And remember, this is different, not the same MXA and MXB. <laughs> Copy that. It's probably the better way to do it. <laughs> um, so what was it? Email at Parrot Cove. Email dot Parrot Cove. Com. Got an Emx uh, Mx record. Uh, that's going to be a ten. Uh oh. Didn't really copy, did it? They lied. So let's get the whole thing. Whoa, what's going on here? Priority, aha, uh -huh. I see, I see, I see what happened, okay. Let's just go do this again. You can see uh, I've not actually done this before on HostGator. <laughs> Priority is gonna be 10 there. Then what we copied is gonna be there, we're gonna leave that TTL and I believe it was email dot parrot parrot poof. Um, let me just double check everything. So we got an MX of 10 email dot parrot cove mail gun. It's the MXA priority 10 MXA. Everything looks good. We're going to save that. Now we got one more. We can stay on. Let's do it. And then we're going to verify the domain. So this one is going to be MXB. They are not the same. Copy that. This is going to be 10. Add in there like that. That's the MXB. And email com. And once we save that, if we did everything right, we should be able to hit this little verify domain right here. So let's see what happens. This is a little sketchy. Let's find out what happens. Okay, so the first one didn't work, um, but the others did. Now in my experience, I keep hitting this and it actually works. If not, there we go. Then we probably did something wrong. Like I did this remotely with the client and they put MXA and MXA and this one wasn't it. And finally I looked at it. It's like, nah, it's supposed to be MXB. So uh, you may get different verifications when you send this in. But anyway, this is how you set up a custom domain. Now, when you go to send email, right, from your contacts, it's going to come from email dot pair code for this particular client. You can pick whatever subdomain you want. It's probably not a good idea to use your main domain. Because, um, yeah, there's lots of problems with that. Only one, uh, you know, if you're, if you're using Google Workplace or Exchange Server, you can't use it on, at Go Agency or Paracove. They can't use, they have a, a rentals at paracove.com. You cannot do that. You need a subdomain. So should explain that in the beginning. Hope you find this video helpful. Yes, I'm going to stop doing short videos because um, YouTube likes to see long videos. <laughs> Anyway, that was actually as short as I could make it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.